Well, hello everyone. How are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the Mac OS 11.5 and is it worth updating your MacBook to this firmware? Without wasting any more time, let's get right into today's video. So, first of all, we are going to talk about the storage. So, the storage after updating to this firmware will be freed up a little bit. So, if you are low on storage, you should update to this firmware as it will clear some of the cache left on your device. And uh, talking about Apple developer website, so on Apple developer website, there is not a lot of info related to this update. So that's why I thought, let's make a video on it. Uh, first of all, as you can see on the website, there is resolved issues of Swift UI. You can also see Xcode have some fixes and debugging resolved issues and all. You can read this. I have link in the description. I will add the link in the description and you can just go on this website and read it yourself now talking about the performance and all the performance on my macbook air m1 have been pretty darn amazing on this update and uh, for people who i have asked they have also said that performance is not an issue here on this firmware so don't be worried about it this update is just fixes and uh, the performance boost is here it is much more stable if you are on intel max this update is must like uh, this update does bring in a lot of enhancements in terms of battery life too because i know many people were having battery life issues this update does brought that too some people were asking me when i lock my mac the screen this profile picture do not animate yes if you guys don't know on the mac os monterey the profile picture when you lock your macbook after setting the memoji uh, you can actually see the animation and the reason why you can't see animation on Big Sur is because it does not support Memojis and uh, you have to set a picture and when you do set a picture like it's a normal picture it will treat it as a normal picture talking about battery life the battery life on intel max have been a bit improved compared to earlier versions so if you are on an intel max this update as i said earlier it is a must have don't worry just update to this firmware because i have done all the research and all that stuff i personally don't own an intel mac but i have researched and talked to some of my friends who do own an intel mac so don't worry everything is good on this update and uh, that's pretty much it for this video if this video was helpful for you guys consider hitting the like button subscribe to the channel for more videos like these this is the third video that i'm uploading for this day so yeah um, <laughs> please just hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so that algorithm should promote my videos peace out have a great day <laughs>